In this video, we will talk about how to find the height of a trapezoid when the area is not given. So let's say we have this trapezoid here, and we're told that this bottom base has a length of 10 centimeters, this top base has a length of 4 centimeters, and this slant height right here is 5 centimeters. How can we find the height given all of this information? Well, we'll notice that the height is perpendicular to the base, which means it forms a 90 degree angle right here. So you'll notice what we have right here is a right triangle. And what we know about a right triangle is that we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the hypotenuse. So that says this small side squared plus this other small side squared must be equal to this hypotenuse, so this five right here. So we really just need to figure out what is this distance, let's call it x. So what is this length right here? Because if we can figure that out, then we can figure out what is h. So we'll notice that the top base is four. So that means this little portion of the bottom base right here, this must also be four centimeters. And let's say we're also told that this, this is an isosceles triangle, meaning if we split it perfectly down the middle, both sides are perfectly symmetrical. So what that tells us is that this distance right here, if we call it x, must also be equal to this distance right here, which is also x. And we know that the whole length of this base is 10 centimeters, so we just need to figure out what is x. So how can we do that? Well, we know that x, whatever it is, plus four centimeters, plus x must add up to 10 centimeters. So what we can say is 10 is equal to four plus x plus x. So we can solve for x. So if we subtract a four from each side, we get 10 minus four is six, is equal to x plus x, that's just two x. So to solve for x, we can divide by two. Six divided by two is three. On this side, the twos cancel out and we're left with three is equal to x. So this distance right here is three. So we'll say three centimeters. So now we know two of the sides of the triangle, so we can figure out what h is. So according to the Pythagorean theorem, that would say h squared plus this side squared, so three squared, must be equal to the hypotenuse squared, so five squared. So we can solve for h. So we get h squared plus three squared is nine is equal to five squared, which is 25. If we subtract a nine from each side, we'll get h squared is equal to 25 minus nine is 16. And to solve for h, we just take the square root of each side. So the square root of h squared, that's h, I'll write that right here, is equal to the square root of 16 is four. So, I'll write it over here. Our final answer is h is equal to four centimeters. So that is this distance right here. So by recognizing that we had a right triangle right here, we were able to solve for the height.